Zombies. Tits. Fucking ass. What more could you want? It's High School of the Dead review time. Zero Zero Dead here, so today I'm going to show you what you get when you buy the High School of the Dead full colour omnibus edition. It covers the first four volumes of the manga, and on Amazon UK at the moment it costs 21 quid, which is pretty cool considering each individual volume costs like a fiver each. So, you know, £21, it's not bad. It, it looks pretty awesome. So, if I show you the front cover, so you've got Ray on the front cover, and then you've got like the High School of the Dead like logo of the big, like, bloody handprint and if you can see there like shiny this is like on top of the actual cover itself so it actually feels like someone's like a zombie's like splattered his hand on there and it's got actual proper bloody like handprint on it and then on the back you've got the badass samurai chick and you've got the same sort of feel of the uh like the bloody handprint which looks pretty awesome it just looks like someone's put a load of black like uh red paint on the hand and just you know slapped it it looks super cool so then on the spine, oh, there you go, you've got one of the characters there, and then you've got like High School of the Dead, Omnibus Edition, full colour. Um, you can take the actual cover off itself, and I'll just keep that like that for a second, and basically what you've got is a bit of a big fan service -y, pervy sort of looking, you know, poster. So before we have a look inside the omnibus, um, I'm going to tell you the basic plot if you don't know it already. A mysterious like illness is spreading around the world, and it basically like brings the dead back to life as like fleshy in like zombies. And the series follows a group of like high school students who are stuck in like high school when like the zombie apocalypse like breaks out and like zombies get inside their school and kill all the students and all the teachers, and it just becomes like a giant like massacre. And then they've got to like group together and find survivors and then fight their way out of the high school. And then they've got to like find like transport. And then basically they want to go to like their parents' houses and all their loved ones. And they want to go like save them. But they find out that the city, the south, is like absolute like mayhem and chaos. And like all the humans are like turning on each other and killing each other. And the zombie like masses are get you know, like growing faster and faster. And you know, they're getting like overwhelmed. And it's just like complete like chaos. Uh, the omnibus covers the first four volumes, which is the entire like anime series. Plus, you get to see inside the mall at the end, which I'll show you. Which, if you watched past the credits on the anime, you get to see that they're standing outside like a mall from like you know, Dawn of the Dead. It's kind of like their little tribute to it, and that's like in the uh, the last arc of this manga. So, we'll have like a look inside. So. First page in, you can pretty much see that you know the massacre's about to start and the zombies are coming along. People are getting eaten. Some people are fighting back against the zombies. And there's the lead hero, Takahashi. And basically, at the beginning, him, uh, his best friend, and like his ex-girlfriend basically decide you know that they're going to try and get out and help each other and that's where the first zombie comes up against the gates of the school and shit hits the fan basically for everybody as you can see in the background of that like the entire like city is just like in rubble well not in rubble but it's like burning and there's smoke and they know that you know they're shit out of luck basically The artwork looks absolutely tremendous in colour, I think. It looks really, really cool. And there's the otaku like gun nut, who the probably one of my favourite zombie killing weapons, like a gas powered nail gun that he basically bodges together. It looks tremendous. And there they are trying to get their way out of the school. So I 
I'll skip ahead a little bit. Basically, in the middle of it, you get like some profile character, you know, like pro uh, character like profiles on like some of the characters and whatnot. As you can see, the city's like in ruins there. Pretty cool picture. That looks really cool. This where he picks up the revolver. Coming up is like one of my favourite scenes in the entire like anime. And that is the gas station scene. I loved it. I thought it was really, really cool. One of the best they did. Basically, they like get attacked by some like, you know, like gangster scumbag. He ends up getting a gun pulled on him. As you can see there. And he gets shot and left for the zombies to eat him. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty awesome. And uh, apart from the middle section of this, which basically is like roughly around episode 6, which is like the naked, you know, hot tub, uh, bathtub scene, where all the chicks are, like get nude and get drunk and whatnot, there isn't really any sort of fan service. I mean, there's probably like 10 or 15 pages of like fan service, and that's literally in just in that one scene. Because like, if you see where I've been like flicking through, you've not really seen any big booby shots or any panty shots or any of the sort of fan service that really put the series down a bit. I mean, like there, that's literally the point where they get to that safe house when all the fan service goes a bit ridiculous in the series. So that's showing off some of the weapons that are in the series. Like a pistol. And it's like a sniper rifle. Like little machine pistols. And assault rifles. And that's when they're on like Air Force One. Wow, that's a really cool picture to get. So that's when they they go to the town and basically all the people have like barricaded themselves out of like the zombie world by putting up like really dangerous like trip wires that like cut through anything, and they're in the like their Humvee. So some more like weapons pages. There's the old samurai sword, the old shotgun. There's a bit of a fan savvy picture there. Ah, tons and tons of zombies. So this is when they're like in that fortress sort of like house and uh or mansion if you want to call it, and all the zombies start attacking at the very end. So still quite a bit to go, and as you can see that's pretty much the end of the anime, nearly. But it looks like the ending of it itself is slightly changed in the anime. If, when I remember it, they all sort of go together, but in this bit, they've split up into two groups. But I could be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure they all go to the mall at the very end all together, and they all leave together. But this shows them not leaving all together, so that's like Act 11. Well, that might be 17, actually. Might have looked at that wrong. So that's a really cool picture. Loving the artwork. Absolutely loving the artwork and colour. looks tremendous. Another really cool picture. They're just destroying zombies with a samurai sword. So this is the bit at the very end that if you watch past the trailers, and I'll get rid of this cover quickly because it's annoying me, on the actual anime itself is they go to like a mall, I think it's on the next page, and that's when the credits end. So obviously that's going to be like season two, if there is going to be a season two of the anime, which which, you know, there's big rumours that there is going to be one. And uh, you can see that they're trying on loads of clothes and whatnot. Like in the mall. And uh, they, 
obviously looks like they go into like a little weapon store and find like weapons and whatnot. So I will try and find the scene. Where is it? Ah, there it is. So this is how like if you watch past the credits, the anime ends with them like looking at them all. But they're in like two groups from what it looks like in the manga. Like you've got those two there, and then the rest of them are already inside them, all waiting for them. You can see like on top of the roof. So I thought that was really cool, and uh, I think that is basically all there is to show on that. So uh, guys, uh, drop me a comment down below. What was your favourite scene in the uh, the anime or the manga? Mine, as I said, was you know the gas station. I thought it was really awesome, and um, you know. If there is going to be a season two of the anime, what like tributes do you want to see to like zombie movies? Do you want to see them get like holed up in like maybe a hospital or like a house and barricade themselves in, or do you want to see them stay in the mall for a while, like say in Dawn of the Dead, and they they live in there for a while while they're trying to like find their parents? Also, you know, drop me a comment. Who is your favourite character in the series? And um, you know, if you like High School of the Dead, you like you know my video. You know, please subscribe and go check out some of my other stuff. Give us the old thumbs up for High School of the Dead and give us the old thumbs up for Zombies. So thanks for watching, guys.